Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Missy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are a POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? So before we start Missy Monday, I have to give a shout out to that special somebody, and that is Damian. Baby, I just want to say thank you so much for having my post notification turned on on Twitter. Um, you were the first to comment when I tweeted today, and I just want to say I see you supporting me, and now it is my time to support you. So with that being said, thank you so much, Debian. I love you, friend. Hey, bitch. Now, what I want us all to do is to prepare ourselves for what Messy Monday today is going to bring. It wasn't a lot, but what I'm going to talk about is a lot. Okay, like... I don't know what the hell is going on with these people and these relationships, but as of right now, I think our relationships need to be canceled into 2021 because y'all don't know how to damn act. You know what? I ain't even gonna hold y'all too long. Let's go on and get into the shit, and that is the sugar honey iced tea because y'all girls love to stay in some shit. First of the sugar honey iced tea, we have 42 Doug. Now, 42 Doug. It's okay to do stuff and, you know, be metrosexual, say things, and, you know, act no homo on the end. But, sweetie, what you said was a, I don't know about this, my friend. I don't know, because you said you was sucking dick to pay the rent. Now, play the play clip. All the money that I made that was supposed to keep us lit. I was out here sucking dick. I was trying to pay the rent. Now, I know what I heard. And, 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 and what I heard is what I heard. And I know I'm not crazy. But he wanted to come out and he wanted to say that that's not what he said. Now let's look at what he said. He said, I don't even know how y'all faking like y'all ain't hear what I said. This ain't even a real clip of me previewing the song. You was out here sucking dick. I was trying to pay the rent. Even on the doubles, it say you was out here. Nigga, 42 died. I didn't hear you. Now what I heard was you saying all the money that I made that was supposed to keep us lit. I was out here sucking dick. I was trying to pay the rent. That's what you said. Now if you were sugar foot now, let it go to bad to the fruit, fruit roll up, fruity pepper, you know what I'm saying, sweet tea, whatever, now later, pop rock, whatever you are, it's okay. It's okay. Be you and be the best. <laughs> be the best you, Twinkle Toes. It's okay. Now let me stop, because that's why people don't want to come out now, because people make fun of them. I ain't making fun of them. Do what you do. They love you, they gonna still love you, honey. It's all right. Well, that's what he said, and what he says is what he says, that he is not a sugar foot, and he did not say that he said you. Now, I'll let y'all be the judge of that. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, you need your rent paid? <laughs> You'll suck the next case. Next for Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Brady Got Dance and Shante. Now, baby, this was the hot game couple of 2016 alongside of Shook and Shun. Well, child, you know they broke up. It was real horrible. It was a mess. I felt like I didn't get that attention and love anymore from Brandon. And Brandon was kind of changing. What I could be mad at him for was, you know, him showing his friends so much attention and, you know what I'm saying, not being there, you know what I'm saying? Like as a boyfriend. When you can start talking bad about your own boyfriend, that's when I feel like y'all should separate before things get bad. And I also feel like, well, Brandon said he felt like we rushed everything. We didn't rush anything. You know what I'm saying? We've been together for a year and a half. We didn't rush nothing. It was my first relationship, so with certain things, certain things I know. Like, and then on top of that, it's like, I know I said this before already, but it's just like, 
But, you know, after three long years, they decided to, you know, rekindle and reunite with each other and let everybody know that, hey, it is what it is. We're grown, and this is us now. At that time, yeah, I was hurt for some stuff, and he was hurt by some stuff. We was emo they was, it's a lot of emotion. We went through a lot at yeah. a young age. Facts, so. facts. And when you, when there's a lot of emotion involved, I feel yeah. like the motherfuckers can just be like, fuck that, fuck that. I don't want to see that, hear that. Keep that away from me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, now that we're older, we can look back at it like, pretty funny as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we're going to see what happens from here. I know a lot of people want them to get back together. We don't know what could happen. You know, anything's possible in 2020 because. Everything's happening. But anyway, all right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Next case. Next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have CJ So Cool. Now, CJ So Cool is, he's handsome to me. He like a sexy T-Rex or like a little dinosaur or something. I think he look good, you know? But uh, he had some motivating words for the people. In the Rolls Royce, you know, thinking about life and I'm just like, I want all my homies to be like this, you know? I want all my friends, all my subscribers, my fans, my family. I want everybody to be just like this, man. Stars in the ceiling. The finest leather. Bad hats. Come on, man. I want everybody to live like this, bruh. What is it gonna take, man, to get everybody motivated? I gotta buy everybody a camera. Was he trying to motivate us or was he trying to flex? From the looks of all that, he was just talking about what he had and what he has accomplished and what he's done. And he's just saying, I want all y'all to have it, but how you gonna help us get it? All we know is that you just showed us what you got. You know what? These YouTubers be doing a whole lot, a whole lot of child. Ain't that the one getting married and supposed to be cheating on a girlfriend and send somebody his penis with... Ooh, if he's sending out penis pictures, he might as well send me one shot before he get married. But anyway, that ain't none of my business. I just want to see it. Okay, well. Oh, God, I was lying. <laughs> well, I know if y'all want what he got, make sure you go on over to DDG's. <laughs> Well, if y'all want what he got, make sure you go on over to DDG's OnlyFans and subscribe to learn how to make money on YouTube and social media. And then on top of that, you can also ask DJ So Cool for a camera because it seems that he's willing to give y'all cameras if you need to get started. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping the game. Next with Shagani Ice Tea, we have Asian versus Mariah. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I f with Mariah. She real cool, she about her shit now. But Miss Blasian, you petty and you messy. Now, let's talk about what's going on. Blasian decided to go onto the internet and she was like, oh my God, what fan done made this edit? It's of her pregnant, right? So then she gonna sit there and say, I want a son so bad, it seems like that's the only thing I'm missing. Sweetie, first of all, sugar. <laughs> Grow up first, live a life, travel the world, do something. Do you even have a job? What do you do? You gonna rely on NLE? His track record? You know, I mean, come on now, sweetie. These girls are always gonna be in competition with the next girl. Girl, sit down somewhere. But anyway, y'all know he just had a baby. Can he enjoy his daughter first? Now, mind you, I think mama was trying to be real, you know, catty and petty by putting up the baby with an emoji over her face because she knew people was gonna think that it was his daughter. Now, see, this is why I like Mariah because Mariah don't play no games. I'm about the one, two action as well. So Mariah came out and she said, I'm starting to think y'all slow. Clover is with me 24 seven. Ain't no dumb holding my baby. Stop playing with me. I said, no, that's how you do it. You shut that shit all the way down. Look, don't play with me. Go play with that want to be imaginary baby that you want. Don't play with me. Go play with something else. Play with that keyboard that you be doing when you get mad at NLE. Don't play with her. Don't play with her, sir. So that's when Miss Blasian went to come out and try to act all tough and bad, knowing she's not about that life. She gonna post up a um, meme where it said, that toxic ex shit don't scare me. What you trying to do? He my nigga now. If a hoe has something to say. Now, first of all, bitch, you out of pocket because one, that is the mother of your nigga's child. That's disrespectful, first of all. And for him to even sit there and let you talk to the mother of his child like that and he didn't check you and come out on social media and say, I got her together for that, that was wrong. He wrong for that. And you don't sit here and start no mess with her, putting up that emoji, knowing she just had a baby, saying, oh no, I want a baby, and come it up, knowing you was gonna cause drama. And when she check you, then you wanna check up that. Nah, girl, you just a don't talk about it, though. You don't want the internet to come back at you. Just 
never leave it alone. It ain't none of your business. But I'ma talk about it. You wrong, Heffa! You're wrong. And then when this girl get herself together, her baby get older, she come out there and whoop your ass. Don't say nothing. Cause you ain't about that line. She should have told you push up. I thought a scary hoe said something. So then NLE Chopper, he would um, come up and put this, talking about he missed his baby and all this other stuff. I was like, damn, it sounded like the baby died the way he talking. But if I was Mariah too, I wouldn't let you see your child either. You see him letting this girl disrespect me on social media. One. Two, you lucky I even let you come see the baby anyway because you threatened to kill me and the baby. And three, you cheating, you was the best. At this point, you lucky you even got the blink at the baby. Maybe if you get Miss Blazing together, you might be able to see your daughter. Ooh, the men all gonna play victim when anyone's out here doing the killing. You know what? L let me get up off that if I say something to that little girl. I hope you watching. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep key next case. All right, y'all, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the ducket, we have Jordan B versus J Younger and his mom. Now, what I want to just say is mama should have stayed out of it because one, her son is a mess. He's a, he's a mess and he's toxic uh, because this incident is not the first time he's done this. Because um, allegedly, remember y'all, when he had put his hands on her a long time ago, and that's when, uh, you know, he, the cops was looking for him because he had that warrant, whatever the case may be. And then when he was hiding up in the attic and that's when they found the, uh, you know, the weapons and the drugs. And then, you know, for the abuse on his girlfriend, whatever the case may be. So don't act like your son's just that good. Let's just go down memory lane. Now, this was Jordan 10 months ago. Okay, so I just called Jay cheating on me. Like, I feel so crazy. Like, I just... I'm not, I'm not more hurt that he cheated on me. It's like, I'm more just like, dang, like, I feel so played because this last time when I just went home or whatever, back to my city, I broke up with him and all of this stuff was going on, all this stuff was getting said about me, it was making like, oh, Jordan the jealous one, Jordan bitter, Jordan all this one, I really don't be, I really not, I don't be going to look for it, like, it comes to me, it happens to me, it comes to my face, and y'all be trying to play, like, y'all girls be know he have a girlfriend, and y'all trying to play victim, but I'm just saying, y'all be trying to start stuff with me, and argue with me, and do stuff to me, when... I don't say nothing to y'all when y'all the ones who do the stuff, like, and then y'all try to make it known and stuff that, like, y'all messing with the certain person, and y'all be looking for, looking for a response from me, and when I do say something, I'm the wrong one, I'm the jealous one, I'm the bitter one, but I'm just supposed to sit there and not say nothing and, and let people just play on me, like, I'm supposed to do that. And this was her again. Jordan did show a picture of what Jada Youngin did to her. So here's a picture that Jordan posted while she was on Instagram Live. And as you can see, the situation is pretty bad. Like he blacked her whole eye. It's swollen and everything. So I'm pretty sure she filed charges. That's why he had a search warrant and that's why he got arrested. Allegedly, he has gotten another girl pregnant. So I'm pretty sure you guys remember Jada Youngin talking to this girl named Tamaya. If you don't know who Tamaya is, she is Lil TJ's girlfriend. And when she was talking to Jada Youngin, you know, her and Lil TJ was on a break. And Jada Youngin was taking a break from Jordan while she was pregnant with their child. So your girl Jordan put this on Twitter and it said, Getting a girl pregnant while having a girlfriend is beyond embarrassing and disrespectful. So once this said this, all hell broke loose because now people think that Jada Youngin's side chick or whatever you want to call her, which is Lil TJ's girlfriend at the moment and was his girlfriend in the past, she is pregnant, allegedly pregnant with Jada Youngin's child. So the girl Maya tweeted yesterday, everything isn't for the internet. And today she said, y'all can't force me to speak on anything. I'll talk when I'm ready. So then that brings us to what's going on. Now, Jordan was on live and uh, she was arguing with the mama about uh, what was going on with the relationship. Yeah, I'm like, I know she wants some attention. Talk about your son. Class, why are you just gonna go home? Just go home. <laughs> Don't 
Now, I gotta agree with her. That's they home. Now, if the mama got a problem with what's going on because Jordan is fussing, then mama need to just go and call her son and say, son, I think you need to leave this girl. Because obviously they 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 been doing this. This ain't new. They been doing this. So why are you even involved, mama? Why? And then in their house, if the girl said just go home, mama just go home. I know a lot of people might be like, so that's his mama. But still, that's their house. That's their home. And they been doing this. So then Jordan decides to go on social media and she says it's time that she needs to break her silence. She got to say what she got to say. Girl, we done heard this 10 months ago, a year ago. It's the same story, girl. It's time to stop writing the same book, sis. Anyway, so then she started, she didn't stop there. She went to her Facebook. So, you know, people at that time been like, damn, did his mama jump her? Because that's what I got. So she should have just said, the mama called somebody to come and jump on me, but it just got into a verbal altercation. That's what she should have said because it just made it seem like they jumped her. So that's what then made the mama go live. He went on broke down mental basket, mental case that ain't got sh that can't f a two dollar box thing of foundation if she needed to. Now I just want to stop her right there and say that that's f up because first of all, it, I don't think the girl got a problem. What the problem is is manipulation, um, control, um, verbal and mental abuse. That is what's going on. This girl has lost her self worth in a guy. One, two, like the mama said, she ain't got no money. So now you're relying on this man. You done got wrapped up in the money and forgot about who you are as a woman, how to step out and say enough is a fucking enough. You done got used to the luxury and the lifestyle. I don't even think you in love no more. Cause if you was in love, girl, you wouldn't be there with that man. Cause that man has shit on you several times and done things to you several times. Even got you locked up while you was pregnant. And girl, you want to sit here and say you love him. Okay, back to the mama. Don't do sh Stay on hot. Don't clean. Don't cook. Don't do sh Don't even have to take care of my baby. Like, Jay had his baby more than his Literally. Anytime my son bought a brand new house, anytime my son got to call me to help me to come to Atlanta, talking about come help him to furnish his house, what the this Like, this Tragic. I mean, a son is supposed to call his mom to come furnish his house or just not. I call my mama. I mean, it's just you want your mother's touch or something. I mean, sometimes every girl ain't gonna know how to do interior design or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I can understand about the sitting around doing nothing and just being there, but we don't know what he telling her at home. Like, I got you. You just be my baby. Sometimes these men be having these girls as a pet. It ain't even a girlfriend. You're just a pet. He gonna take care of you, play with you, do what he want with you until he finds a new one to play with. And then, you know, sometimes we may love that main pet, but we gonna get another one because it's cute and cuddly. It's a little puppy. But then when that puppy become grown and all again, we just like, all right, now you go back to the main one that you love. Did that make sense? Y'all caught it? All right. Keep going, mama. I am literally scared for my grandbaby. My gr This girl is mentally f the She's sick. This dealing with for you. Okay, and then like you told her, well, if you know that he going to cheat on me, then why don't you leave? Then why the hell did Jay leave? If this girl is doing the same shit for years, like you just said, why the hell is he not leaving? Leave, Jay. Leave, Jordan. Somebody got to get the hell up and leave. You know why they're not leaving? Because they like that shit. So that was when it comes for the mama and everybody else to get out they damn business because they're going to do what the hell they want to do no matter what the hell you, me, or any fan say. Period. So when you get in it and anybody else get in it, it just make it worse. Stop showing them damn attention and let them do what the fuck they go through. If any consequence happens from it, him going to jail or... God forbid it never happened, but him probably putting his hands on her. Maybe that is going to give her the chance to say, I got to walk away. Hopefully, it's never too late. Hopefully, they can find out they need to just go. See, y'all stressing me out. See, I'm turning to a counselor. So I'm getting upset. Mama, talk some more. Oh, this Jay. Her call the police saying J Jay jumped all this shit. The shit be doing, jumping on him. And then he still with Since he built it, been nothing but negative. Negative. She even bringing him fucking down. Mama, I'm sorry. Your son cheated. I think several times. Yeah. Go ahead, mama. She flashing it. First, she pointed the knife in his face. 
I still sat there. I said, I ain't done. Y'all chill out. Like, you need to go on, go on, on. So, why they standing there? This slang this night to my shit finna cut him. So, fuck no. I'm not finna sit there and let you do a mother thing to my son. So, I laid the baby down. And I got the And I'm like, finna go the way you think. I'm finna, I'm gonna drop So, Jay, you better get I'm finna, I'm finna whoop off. So, Jay Grant told me, like, mom, just get back. Just don't worry about it. Don't say that. I'm like, no, this is too much. I don't have time for this. Exactly. She's a nutcase. So, I'm like, Jay, just leave. I was like, just, baby, just leave. Just go on and leave, whatever. So, she snatched the baby up out of the bed. The baby ass, he letting the garage up. Uh, by this time, I'm videoing. Thank God I videoed this. Now, I do agree with the mama when she said, you know, she brought the knife out and you're going to let nobody do nothing to your son. I totally agree. I get it. I won't let nobody do nothing to my brother, sister, my mama, my daddy. And if I had a child, I get that. But what I'm saying is this right here. When a guy does something over and over to a girl or a woman, they can only take so much. And somewhere down the line, somebody might snap. Everybody's not strong enough to walk away. I don't want nothing to happen but Sometimes when you play with somebody's heart and now this girl got this man baby, when you play with somebody's heart, things can get ugly. People could be the sweetest people in the world. They could be the coolest people in the world. When you have broken them down to feel like they are nothing and you continue to do it over and over. And I'm not just saying it's his fault. It's her fault too for staying. But we don't know what this man is saying to her in the bed in the middle of the night and stuff he's doing. Men can be real manipulating. And when you are a girl who really didn't have, I guess don't have that upbringing of how to love yourself or whatever. I don't know how her daddy and her mama raised her. But then you found it in this guy. It's hard to walk away. So instead of trying to put all the blame on her and calling her crazy, how about y'all sit here too and tell your son to accept the stuff that he has done wrong? Because it wouldn't get here if he wouldn't have cheated. You know what? Now let's go look at the video on what happened when they was about to fight. But why are you doing all this? Yeah. He tried to leave, Jordan. Why? Because he's going to cheat on me. Well, just leave. If you, don't, if you feel that way, why are you with him? Just leave him. Just leave him. Just leave him. Go. What you doing all this for? You put a knife on him doing all this and that? Bitch, stop. Oh. Um. Just, Jay, just leave, Jay. Just leave. She doing all this mental case shit, this baby. Like this, uh, this is this ain't gonna work here. Guys, you know what? Now I, uh, this is just too much. They need to break up. But y'all, you know what? This ain't gonna stop them. They still together. She's still gonna be there, and they gonna post another video. I give them a month and watch them be in the same position again. If it ain't about me, let's kiki. Next case! Next on the docket, we have Brian versus Queen Sid. Now on 729, Bree and Sid were just good. He took her to get her nails done. He was catering to her, they went out to eat. It was just lovey-dovey, you know? And then all of a sudden, he come and he put up, I'm single. So then somebody said, well, go back to Diamond. I miss y'all. He said, it might be collabing soon. Wait a minute. Like, see, hold on. Do you not know what you did to Diamond? You humiliated this girl on social media. Then, not to mention, she, allegedly, she claimed that you allegedly put your hands on her. You embarrassed her when she came to your house. Like, see it. At this point, I'm starting to think you the problem. You're crazy. Because, slow down, so let's keep going, let's stay on track. And all of a sudden, they said, let me guess, Brie must have cheated, whatever the case must be. He said she was for the street. She crossed all different types of streets, whatever, whatever, whatever. Woo. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pick a side until I hear what Brie got to say. It's so hard for me to do because I don't like to bring my problems to social media, but this is the only way I can do it. And I fight for it because I love Jason. So... I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be hard. Brie, go ahead, sir. I even fight with my mom, my own mom, 
over Jason. I always choose Jason. I always play him first. So earlier today we got into it and you know normally whenever we get into it I go to Jason's house. But Jason and I were already in a fight and we were on a break and we needed space. No to no shade y'all. This giving me diamond vibes like Jason you something else. I felt like the only thing I could do was get my own space and get a hotel room. And obviously, I don't want people knowing my business or anything, so I didn't want to tell anybody else. And unfortunately, since the beginning, <laughs> since the beginning of my relationship with Jason, I can't even look at the phone right now. Since the beginning of my relationship with Jason, everyone has been trying so hard to break us up so hard and i guess somebody sent jason a picture of my car outside and said jason your girl's here with another guy yes it was my car yes it was my car i am here but i'm most definitely alone now <laughs> now Bree, i ain't the smartest one in the bunch but you went and got a hotel because you said you wanted to have space you crying, but you, you doing. <laughs> Green. <laughs> Green. <laughs> I really don't care what the internet has to say, to be honest, because I love Jason so fucking much. So fucking much, no matter what he did say to me or no matter what we're going through right now, I really feel like we could get through it, you know? This is, this is a really, 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 really bad, bad thing that happened. But because it's wrong and because, you know, only God knows the truth and everything will come to the light, um, I, I just hope that we can get through this and, you know, this really, really sucks. Well, child, then see it end up coming in her line while she was talking about situation and just let her head to call her bitches and everything. I'm like, oh, God, he don't respect none of his girlfriends. I don't care how mad you get. Don't do that in front of everybody. Don't even do it, period. So then he goes live and say what he got to say. That bitch going to come and camp on the live. Like, who the f the hotel for they self? My my Hey, look, look, look. So, I love that. This why, this why I make sure all my relationships is public. So everybody know how my girl looks. So when my girl's somewhere she's not supposed to be, my fans gonna tell me what she doing. Duh, you f deep. You f You was in the, bro, you went in the pool with the, the Yo, hey, look, look. You crying right now talking about you alone? Oh, let me tell y'all the story. F shit, my turn, bitch, Fucking liar. You wanna go cry on live and how you gonna cry on live after you just got Of course nobody in the room. The went left, you dummy. You sold out for a quick nut. I, I, I f that Yo, what? That you for what, five minutes? You you lost the relate. Bro, I tried to change your life, dog. I took you out the club, dog. I tried to help you, dog. But you want to do this for a quick nut. What the fuck? Yeah, we was- Child, whoever bro was who sent you that, you better be careful because bro might really just want you. Girl, you gotta be careful now. It's 2020. Bro done did all that, honey. That mean he got too much time invested in trying to see what's going on with you and why you not happy with the girl. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, see it. <laughs> okay. After doing all that, calling her bitches and hoes and how you took her out the club and gave her a better life and just all that, honey, they go and do this. Ciao. At this point, they meant for each other. I, then the person asked him in the comments, I thought she cheated, he said, nah, misunderstanding. Well, if it was a misunderstanding, don't you think before you got on live embarrassing her the same way you did, Diamond, that you should have went to her and said, hey, this is what was sent to me. This is what um, I feel happened. Can you tell me and explain? Then when you got all of that and the information or whatever she said or whatever the case may be and it didn't add up, you could have came to social media if you wanted to. But to come and react off the emotions, see, you the problem. 
and you be disrespecting your women. Ain't no way in hell I'ma lay up with you the next day after, or even a couple of hours later after you said all that disrespectful stuff to me on live. Yeah, Bree, you deserve whatever's gonna happen to you in this relationship because, girl, whatever you allow a man to do, he's going to keep doing it because he know he got away with it once. We will see y'all again on Mesa Monday in a few months. All right. Oh, and then he gonna pin up. Look, he gonna pin up this tweet because I guess he met Diamond privately. Why the hell? And this is probably why she was upset and wanted space to go to the hotel because he went and met Diamond, right? Posted that he did it when he shouldn't even done it because that was between him and Diamond. We didn't need to know any of that. So Diamond was like, look, I just want my peace. And look, do you, I do me, let's go our separate ways. And that's probably why the girl was upset. Put two and two together. She was probably upset, wanted to get away, went to the hotel, woo, woo, woo. And then he want to act like she out there having sex with somebody, which I do think she probably got a little lovey-dovey on anyway too, but it, it is what it is, because she's probably upset, don't know what you and Diamond was doing. And then look at you writing in the comments talking about some, oh, Diamond, let's collab, or, oh, Diamond this, you know, come on now. But anyway, we'll see them in um, a couple of weeks. She gonna be the new Diamond, watch what I tell you. She gonna be on here going crazy, schizophrenic and all. All right, if it ain't about me, let's keep kidding the case. Next on the docket, we have Isa Abo versus his now ex-girlfriend, Brie. Now this is crazy. Now the girlfriend has came out and said that Isa Abo has allegedly been abusing her mentally and physically. Now it all supposedly started because he's saying that she disrespected his child by telling his child no and she supposedly cheated. So Brie went to Twitter, she said, I finally let the man who's been physically and mentally abusing me, he took away my Instagram, um, but I will be talking to y'all about it on my Twitter and my Facebook. Now her cousin then comes out and he says, look, I just read my cousin's story and I worked countless hours helping this man with his domestic violence series that is on YouTube. As you see, he has a um, YouTube series about domestic violence. And I guess it's just kind of ironic that this is coming up when mind you, he also supposedly um, did the same thing to one of his baby mothers. Now, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's keep going. So in the first tweet she put earlier in the year, um, he put his hands on me because a guy had asked me, what you doing? And he accused her of cheating. So they you know, confronted the guy and the guy was like, hey, I didn't think y'all were together. That's why I did it. But then she said, after all that was said and done and the guy said what he said, which the guy admitted, hey, I thought y'all broke up. So yeah, I did try to holler at your girl. So why are you mad at her? and not him. At the end of the day, really be mad at nobody because the man thought y'all were broken up. So she said, um, after they had cleaned it all up, he had beat her and put her in the hospital. That is crazy if this is true. This is not all allegedly because no one knows if this is all real yet. After that, it started. she started getting DMs from other girls like, hey, you know, other girls telling her that he's cheating on her and talking to them and so whatever the case may be. So she said she would go to him and ask him, is this true, what is going on, like any normal girlfriend would do? And he was like, you antagonizing me. Now y'all women know, because I date men, and we know that when you go to a man and he's caught up in what he's doing and he cheating on us, and we say, what's this, who is she? He's like, man, shut up, I don't know y'all always worried about. Y'all know what the fuck be going on. So that's what she was saying he was doing. So then she said that he would take her car, go out and do things, and sometimes when they were with the kids, they would be there at five and six o'clock in the morning. Um. That is crazy. And she goes on and she says how, you know, she had insecurities and she didn't feel like she was beautiful, but she met him and, you know, he started doing things for her, stuff that no one's ever done. And y'all know, when you already have kind of low self-esteem and somebody makes you feel good, you kind of attach and leech on to that person because that is the only person who makes you feel special. And then on top of that, they're doing things for you. Like she said, he's doing this, he's doing that taking her on plane trips and all this other stuff, stuff that she's never done. And so now it's like this person kind of really now owns you. They control you now because they're making you feel like you can't live without them, basically. And then she goes on and she says, I kept going back because I was in love. No, sweetie, this is the difference. You were in lust. You were infatuated by what you thought was love that you were receiving. And that's what a lot of women and men tend to do. We tend to think that just because someone's doing something good for us or someone's doing this, that they love us or we love them. No, sometimes people have an intention or a motive 
behind what they're doing because they know how to prey on our weaknesses because they know that we're weak in this certain area. And if we can, if they continue to do this, then they got us. All right. Y'all keep up with me. This is a lot. So then she goes and she posts up a picture while she had trust issues. And that's when he told her again, you keep antagonizing me, whatever case may be. Woo, woo, woo. And then she said he put her in the hospital. He fractured her spine. He took all her belongings. And it was just a lot. And she was like, that's, is this all happened in Decatur, Georgia? She said, and then she goes, I'm not laughing, but she says that he left her to walk down the street singing Amazing Grace. Now, she goes and she tells everybody how she was, you know, posting about being depressed. Now, a lot of people know women, when they get into their feelings or something's going on mentally uh, and they're dealing with something emotionally, they do. Women tend to, and men, we, we as people, we like to vent, you know, sublim subliminally. And she said she was making posts about being depressed, whatever the case may be, and he told her... You ain't even comforting. He allegedly told her, you're not comforting me. You know, I just lost my brother. You doing this about being depressed. Now, if that's true, that's fucked up. Now, both of y'all are really going through something, so y'all really need to be there for each other. If she's depressed, then you, you kind of know how she feels because you're down that you lost your brother. So instead of saying she needs to bow down to your knees and kiss your feet because your brother passed, RIP, God rest his soul, but that is the time y'all come together and y'all supposed to be healing each other. Oh, child, this new generation is crazy. Let's keep it going. And so after she had posted the depressed thing, that's when she said she had found a condom in his pants. She posted the picture. Mama is coming with the receipts. Now, like, I, 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 it would be hard for me to believe, to believe her if she didn't have the receipts. Now, but mama has them. So she said, this is the condom that she found in his pot, in his pants pocket. He was like, these aren't even the kind I use. But mind you, she allegedly, she said that this is the day also that his baby mama was allegedly at their house. Why is the baby mama at the house? Now, I mean, maybe she's dropping the kids off. I don't know, whatever the case may be. But follow me. Keep Let's keep going because this gets even juicier. And this brings us to the text message between them two and why he got mad at her about the kids. Now, she told the kids no for whatever reason she told them no. I, you can tell a child no. So as you see in the text messages, they're talking and he's telling her, I don't play about my kids. You mistreated them. You told them no. Some people want you to spoil their children. You can't spoil uh, you can't spoil kids all the time. Like she said she's never mistreated them. They've never had a problem. So what was it about her saying no that triggered him to, to just jump like this? Now in these text messages, I know y'all wanna read them all. She's basically just telling him how she's been depressed and she's been down. She don't wanna move, she don't wanna do this. And he doesn't care, he keeps saying, you don't say no to my kids, I don't play about my kids. But the reason she was saying no is because she's been in a mood. He's done pushed her away. She don't want to be there. Now, mind you now, she was saying that he's been doing the things that he's been doing, to, allegedly, been doing the things that he's been doing to her. Now, when you look at that long blue one, she was like, you've pushed me away. I'm done. I want to be gone. And he never once acknowledged, damn, she's depressed. That's why she told my kids no. This is why she feels the way she feels. This is why she's like, hey, I, so when she says she's depressed, she likes to be left alone. But then when you're leaving five kids with her at night and you're coming home at five and six in the morning, you damn right I'ma say no. No, go sit your ass the fuck down. That's what I'ma say to anybody. Sit your ass the fuck down. Because I'm tired. I'm depressed. Your dad left me here with all of y'all. You're not even mine. I'm stressed the fuck out. I get it. She's down. And then she's gonna tell them no. And so now he's mad and not once acknowledged her saying she was depressed or she's been going through something. It was just, you don't disrespect my kids. You don't talk to my kids like this. You don't do that. You don't do this. Well, damn. Does my feelings not matter? Let's keep it going. Now, in these tweets, she's talking about how when she came home one day, she walked in the house, she saw a purse on the couch, whatever the case may be. We, we, we sure knew what the fuck was going on. Now, child, mind you, that was the baby mama there while she was gone. So why is the baby mama at the house and your girlfriend ain't even there and she in the house? Y'all in the room. So she says she walks out, she go back to her friend's house. 
And she said she already knew what was going on. And she told him, like, you know what? I'm going to leave. But guess what? She goes back. Why? Because she said he manipulated her to come back. Because last time she tried to leave, he took everything from her. So she's like, you know what? I just don't want to go through this. I'm going to go back. So she goes back. I'm like, well, why would you go back? Let them have it all. Take my damn car. I call, I call a police report. Take my phone. Take it. Girl, that's... God was giving you a chance to get the hell on then, but you kept going back. And I get it. I get it. Because I've been in that situation sometimes too where you're like, hey, I love this person. They they are changed. They are changed. And you start forgetting your own happiness to try to fix somebody. And we got to stop trying to fix stuff. Sometimes junk is meant to be junk. But anyway. Follow me. She's been at her friend's house trying to get comfort because she just wants to leave. He finds out she's dead. He allegedly beat her again, fractured a disc in her shoulder. Now she said her seizures started coming back because now she's stressed and being beat. Oh, this is too much. This is a whole lot of whole lot of. Now this week she said the police came, asked what happened. She said him and his friends are lying to the police in her face. So she was shaking her head in disbelief. So she started lying to the police too. Uh, she said because she wanted to protect her safety because after they left, she didn't know, you know, what, what happened. And I can understand that if all this is true. So the person that he's allegedly saying that she cheated on him with, she she's saying she did not cheat. She just was over there with this guy who she never had sex with because she was already out of love with Ivo anyway. And she was just with this guy for comfort. And y'all, I get that. When something is bad at home and you don't have anybody to talk to, I, you go elsewhere looking for that affection, for that love, for that attention. And this guy was there for her. And if you're out of love with this person, bitch, I'm gonna go elsewhere too. And then she should have just broken up with him and left. In the middle of the night, just broken up, left, took your shit and go. Stay with that man. Why didn't you stay with the man? Let that man know what the fuck going on. This man is beating you, whatever the case may be. And that man should take up for you. If he that worried about you, you know what I'm saying? Whew, this is just a whole lot. Let's keep it going. Maybe okay, she's planning on how she's gonna get away. She can go to her grandma, she's been plotting, whatever case may be, woo, woo, woo. She goes on and she says, you know, in the beginning, it was, it was all good, like I said prior, um, that, you know, he made her feel special, made her feel good, he, she was helping him, he was helping her with her music, um, she was helping him, and she thought it was all love, but then she said she knew it was not love, because he would um, always tell her stuff that she needed to fix, she needed to fix this, she needed to fix that. And I guess it was stuff about herself. She started falling in love with what he was doing and he saw that. So then he didn't like her anymore. She did, He just liked what she could do for him. But then this is all allegedly, this is what she's saying. Um, so she said and when she started feeling the shift change in their relationship, that's when she started screen recording and keeping things for evidence for, I guess, times like this. Now, on the other side, she was just talking about like how he's done went and told the baby mama, I guess, that she said certain things to the children and did stuff to the kids. And now the baby mama wants to fight her. And she said she knows it's probably going to be stuff like, 10 on, 10 on her head, I guess that means like $10,000 put on her head to kill or whatever the case may be um, because she is saying all this and I guess it's like tarnishing his name and she now she's saying that, um, but she doesn't care because she wants to get this out. So now he finally comes out and he says, you do everything for a chick, then she treats your kids right. She gets so lazy that you stop spoiling. All of a sudden she, she mistreats your kids, bitch, I kill you. Now, she's telling us that you're abusing her mentally and physically. And you say that you don't. But then you come back and you say, you mistreat my kids, bitch. I'll kill you. So then he gonna say that his family took her in and welcomed her with open arms. And she had nothing, but he gave her everything. And but then he said the family started noticing that she got lazy. And when she got lazy and they started calling her out on it, that's when you want to say that your whole life was just hell. And he told her, go suck a dick. Um, you pretty eyed loser bitch or something like that. And I'm like, damn, how do you build her up just to break her down? So she goes and she tells everybody, no, I had everything on my own. I had a car, I had a job, I had a place to stay, I had this and that. But then when he started coming up, well, while she had all that, he was using her. Using her car to go see women, take them on dates, this and that. I guess living up in her house, whatever the case may be. Um, but she said then once he came up, that's when he told her, I don't want you to work no more. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to do that. And I guess he's going to take care of her. Now, women, that's where y'all mess up. Don't ever stop your job and your life and what you're doing for a guy. Because then once you do that, 
You depend on him. He has to do everything for you and you have no control. You've lost all of your power. Now you are like a slave to him and he can tell, he's gonna tell you, Baby, y'all gotta stop. So then he comes out and this is what he starts putting on his Instagram story. Let me read it because I don't want to mess up. He said, you can see the good the whole time as soon as you leave someone for cheating on you. All of a sudden, everything was hell. Don't mistreat people, kids. The fuck. So it's like, everything that he's posting, he's never not, he's never mentioning or discussing the abuse. It's always just your kids. Forget everything she said. Um, I, I was depressed. I was this. I had my job. I had this. I had that. He never touched on those issues. He only touched on my kids. We get it. She said no to your kids. But he doesn't stop there. And he goes and he posts an old Father's Day post. And she was just talking about how he's the best father and how he took his kids out. And she wished she had a daddy like that because she didn't have a daddy. And anybody in the world should be happy to have a daddy like him um, because he does so much for the children, blah, 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 blah. And then that's when he comes back again and he says, and I don't play about my kids. So why would you scream no in her face? Allow your sister to say she's going to spit on them countless of times. Now, I don't know if that's true. Like she said, he's a manipulator. He's good with words. That's what she's allegedly saying about him. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like he did. He told her, hey, I don't want to work for the white man no more because I want to take care of you. Blah, blah, blah. Now, did the sister say she's going to spit in the kid's face? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, that, that's fucked up. Now, did she, he said she screamed no in the child's face. And let's remember, she said she screamed no because she would, he would leave her at home with these children to five, six o'clock in the morning. She was going through depression, which you saw in the text messages. She told him, I'm depressed. I like to be left alone. I don't, I want to be by myself. She was already out of love with him because of what's been going on allegedly. And now when she's at home, these kids and these kids, they're young. I'm sure they were probably wild. You know, kids going to be kids. And she said, no. Put my son's face asking, who's this little nigga while I'm not there? Now, mind you, he just told y'all he's not there. Because I left your kids with this girl. They're not even her children. Um, then you start throwing me cash whenever you get mad. Girl, you lucky I ain't go upside your head. Woo. She's already saying you do domestic violence and then you want to say you want to you go upside her head. Okay, let's keep it moving. While I'm in this, while I'm in this state of mind. Now, he's back on him. Like she said, he's a narcissist. He's narcissistic. Now I'm just, I'm just, I'm not saying she's right. I'm not saying he's right. Now it's going back on you. You didn't care nothing about what she said, depressed. But now you want her to be okay with you when she get mad because you're going through what you're going through with your brother. But everything about her being depressed, being upset, being this, being that, it don't matter. What matters is you being upset about your brother and then not saying no to your kid. Let's keep going. Follow the camera. Girl, fuck you. I don't play about my kids. You don't have any, so you wouldn't understand. First of all, <laughs> sir, if it was me, I would have my first of all, sir. Yeah, I don't have any because I didn't get caught up. Second of all, what you're not gonna do is tell me I wouldn't know because I don't have any. Keeping yours all the damn time when you gone might as well be mine. So yeah, I can say no if I want to. That's what I would have said being a woman. I would have my first don't tell me what I do and don't have. I didn't get caught up. I didn't just let any old nigga nut in me. Respect that. But then you're gonna tell me that I don't know what I have kids when I'm taking care of your children when you got out. The nerve! Okay, I'm not going against him. I, I I think he's a funny guy, but ooh, some of the stuff he said is really rude. Now in these, he's showing the messages between him and his baby mama. The baby mama is going off, talking about why would you let her disrespect my kids? Why would you do this? Why would you do that? And to me, their relationship is really. I don't know if the baby mama's completely over him. You know, some baby mamas, they tend to, they tend to not like the new girls. So they like to keep a little friction going on. But so between y'all two, I, I'm not gonna get into that, but ooh, y'all know what I wanna say. Sometimes baby mamas do stuff on purpose to keep what you got at home bad. So they wanna make, whatever. In the Texas, they just fussed and he's like, well, what do you want me to do? You want me to kill her? Kill her? <sighs> I 
So instead of worrying about his girlfriend's feelings, it seems as though he done went to the baby mama to stir up some more drama to make the baby mama mad so she would want to fight the girl now because she told the child no. So then he goes and he posts on his story again and says, As you've seen the messages, my soft ass still trying to save you. Girl, go to hell. F love, you'll never see me post a bitch again. Y'all see I gave this little girl the best version of Ivo y'all have ever seen. Um, that still ain't enough. Back to him. He said he shouldn't have had to have come to the internet like he did. Remember when he made that video when he was crying? He shouldn't have had to come to the internet. He should have been able to go to her. But again, she mentioned that she has already now been out of love with him prior to, I guess, what's been going on before then from the seeing the baby mama in the house, the condoms, uh, the girl's messages, the alleged beating, and now she's depressed. So she's been clocked out. You know what I'm saying? She's been done. She's told you she was depressed. She wrote you she was depressed and you ignored it about the children and this and that. So. How do you expect for her to come to you and listen to you grieving about your brother when she's already clocked out and depressed already? Both of y'all are hurt people right now. Cut like that. She mad. Listen, this have nothing. She got a, a 99 Honda. I done bought her a car, house, flight, man. It's just right. everything. The moment I want to leave her because she lazy and playing with my kids. What good are you for me? Text on my mama, bro. Is she mad? She ain't start getting mad till we start calling on her shit. Right or wrong, bro. Being dirty, not cleaning up. I start, I stopped taking care of you because you became dirty, lazy. You ain't want to do no music. You ain't want to do shit. When you made me, I, I, I've been inside that was since you made me. I made you up to you. For how? How do that with no pay? You see what's going on? You know what my family don't do all that, man. This girl's delusional. I put that ass to lock when she get to swinging. You think I'm, you see these? Well, folk, show, tell her show y'all black eye or anything. Please do. I put that to lock when she get to swinging. Like wrestling. What you talking about? Do you see me swinging on this? No. Fuck. It's her. Now, tell her y'all black eye. I should have bopped her. Hey, y'all. So, apparently, he uploaded a video of me swinging back. Of me be it looked like I'm beating his. Tell Tess to show the whole video, bro. Start from Exhibit A. My bag is between Ivy's legs because he took my bag off his back. The reason I'm fighting was because he got my phone in his hand. He had my phone in his hand. Do y'all not see? Did y'all not see he had, him, he had, my, <laughs> had my phone in his And then right when I tried to leave, guess what he did? And give me them shoes back too. Y'all wasn't recording that part. Y'all wasn't trying to put that part out there. I, I, I looked Tats dead in his eyes and I said, record this, bro. I said, record this. He put the phone down like this. All his friends is protecting him. All his family's protecting him. It looked like I'm beating his ass. He had my phone in his hand. He knows that's my only family. That's my only safety. He took that sh and I'm fighting for my sh Right there, he's blocking the door trying not for me to get out. He was taking my sh did in there, so that right there so he can put me out. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how you just got your credit fixed. You bum nigga. You was living with me. I was 19 at the time with my own sh on. Come on now. Don't play with me, bro. You not finna you not finna play with me, bro. You 24 years old. You are a manipulator. That's what you are. You took everything that I had. You took it away. And on top of that, you took me away too. Every time I tried to leave, every time I tried to leave, me at that door, that's me trying to leave. He he was fighting me at first. He told them to record the part what he was get what I was getting him. Do you not know this is all part of the plan? This bitch. He's a manipulator. This is what he does. He's putting on a show. Now, now that the fact that I'm playing the same game that he's playing, I've been watching him for a year. I know how his social media And now that I put my story out, now that I put my story out, now he want to try to get his family on his side. That's what he does best. That's what they do best. They going to stick to While all this is going on, no, this is going to take us back to 2015 where he allegedly had uh, beat his baby's mother. Um, but she's not speaking out right now. Now, maybe if she was to speak out, it would validate what the girl is saying, but the baby mama ain't coming out. But the tweets came back and surfaced. Now, to be honest, y'all, I, I honestly don't know. But what I do know is this is a mess. Um, Mama done came out with the receipt. She showed y'all the police reports, the doctors. She showed y'all the condoms. She showed y'all the text messages. She showed y'all, she's shown everything. I gotta cut this short because my camera is like really hot.
for some reason. But that's all I got for Missy Monday. Make sure you follow my Twitter and my Instagram. Yeah, so make sure y'all stay messy, okay? And I will see you next Monday. Next case! A whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on.